Episode 39, Return from the Rescue Mission. What are you trying to do? The two kidnappers looked up at Aiden, trembling as he approached. Since you bastards like to kidnap people so much, how would you feel if I sold you to one of the gangs around here? I hear they're always kidnapping people. Maybe they could give you some tips. Aiden scratched his chin and smiled sinisterly. Still reeling from the day's events, the kidnappers didn't detect the humor in Aiden's voice and for a terrifying instant thought he was serious. Smiling coldly, Aiden stopped beside them and forcefully stripped them of their clothes. Bro, you know we're not great looking dudes. You really don't want to see us without our clothes on. Please, just let us go. Right, right, and we're extremely dirty. For a few seconds, Aiden was stunned by their reactions. What the hell? Did they think he had some weird fetish? Shut your damn mouths. I'm a straight man, all right? Aiden tore his coat into several long strips and used them to tie the two criminals tightly together. Ding! Binding living beings. Binding technique, plus one. Current progress, one out of ten. Current level, beginner level. Who the hell needed such an evil technique? Though their hands and feet were bound so tightly they could hardly move an inch, they continued shouting. Bro, let's just talk it out. Come on, man. We'll give you money. You can have as much as you want. We can also give you... Before they could finish talking, Aiden had taken off his socks and stuffed them into their mouths. Those socks smelled rather unique in their own way. Instantly, the criminals' eyes snapped open. After several minutes, they were on the verge of passing out from the foul stench emanating from those socks. (sighs) Ah, finally, peace and quiet. Aiden clapped his hands together a few times in satisfaction and went to check on his electric tricycle. Its condition, however, was obvious at a glance. Even without inspecting it closely, he could see that the tricycle really was just a pile of junk now. How was he going to get back to the city without any form of transportation? Suddenly, Aiden felt a slight tug on his shirt. Turning around, he saw Dora looking up at him with her adorable round eyes. Her voice was filled with admiration and respect as she asked, Are you a superhero? A superhero? Aiden squatted down and patted Dora's head gently. Just call me Big Brother, he said kindly. Also, Big Brother is not a superhero, but instead, someone that your grandfather hired to rescue you. But Aiden smiled bitterly. Big Brother doesn't know how to take you to your grandpa right now. Dora extended her small hand and pointed at the motorcycle lying on the ground. After an instant, Aiden's eyes lit up. Five minutes later, he was already riding toward the city on the motorcycle with Dora nestled safely in his arms. On the back of the motorcycle, the two kidnappers were bound together rather uncomfortably. As the motorcycle drove on, they were forced to continuously readjust their bodies to balance their weight against its sudden twists and turns. Feeling the wind against his face, Aiden took a deep breath and shouted happily, Dora, hold on tight. We're going to go faster now. The engine roared and the motorcycle shot forward like a rocket. Wait, don't! Two incomparably dire screeches suddenly blared from the back of the motorcycle, then were repeated several times before slowly petering out. By the time they were back at Megamart, the sun was already setting. He pulled up to the entrance of the store. The two kidnappers, ragged and tortured beyond all sanity, lay bound atop the back of the bike. This strange sight immediately attracted the attention of passerby. After making his way through the crowd with great difficulty, Aiden returned with Dora to the place where he had left the old man. To his surprise, there were already a few uniformed security guards gathered at that exact spot. One of them was holding a pencil and a notebook. The old man was speaking to him, and he carefully recorded his words. Grandpa! Dora immediately jumped down from Aiden's arms and ran toward the old man standing in the middle of the crowd. 